Hello everyone and welcome to the PWOD. How are you guys this morning, this afternoon or evening if you're watching the replay? We want to say hello to you and welcome you to the Chris Brooks Ministries prophetic word of the day. Tell us hello as you are jumping on so we can say hi to you. Hope that you have your pad and your pen, your Bible, and your coffee. I had no coffee today. Why well, don't you have any coffee? Do you want me to go enough. get you a cup? No, I've had enough. Okay, but I'm super, super excited because it has taken forever for us to get our shipment of Black Rifle coffee in. But we finally got our Black Rifle coffee in yesterday. Hey, Heather, good morning. We finally got um, that in yesterday, so I'm super pumped. Uh, what was going on? You said that Black Rifle went... I don't know. I, I, no, they're just, they just... They've... they've they have produced so many stores that oh that's right because they have stores now have just stores like now. duncan or it Starbucks used to be or just you know distributors now they have stores and so they're they're throwing out way more coffee than normal so anyway are you well, still anyway. praise the lord mm -hmm. we need to get a black rifle uh, veteran owned coffee man we need to get one of those shops here in chattanooga oh, we area yep. we need one of those so anyway, I hope that you have your coffee or your tea or whatever it is that <laughs> you like. Jim Pyle, good morning. Teresa, Shelly Brown, Courtney, hello morning, morning, everyone. Morning, morning, morning. All of you guys are jumping on. Go ahead and share and tag this. Don't forget the stars. Hit that stars button um, as well as put the hearts out there <laughs> and tag someone. Good morning, Caleb. Hello. Chris Wiley, he goes coffee. <laughs> yes, I have my coffee. And hey, do us a favor. Be praying with us and agreeing with us. Um, we have several meetings this evening, tomorrow evening, Friday evening. Yeah. Um, tons of ministry opportunities that we are and appointments that we are taking care well, of. Well, let me, let me do it this way. Let me yeah. just say it this way. One-on-one -on -one individual discipleship um, with a family. We are ministering to a family that's in need right now that's coming in from Nashville. We are um, doing videos with a family. And I mean, it's just, a, it's a lot of what Everybody sees of CBM as they see going out, ministering um, at churches and, and doing the conferences or doing whatever. But we are always doing something here. Hey, and, and, and here we have people coming into our home and we pour into their lives and speak over them. You've seen the, the pictures of us doing baptisms out here in the backyard. And um, it's the things you don't see that we're wanting to tell you about because that's the real core of who we are and what we do. Absolutely. I mean, you know, there's so much need that's taking place and God is using our ministry to help fill that need. And I want to just say a special thank you to our partners because we could not do what we're doing without our partners. No. You are not only praying for us, but sowing seed and support and bringing in support to this ministry. Um, to a way and a degree where we're able to offer discipleship and these kind of resources to those in need. And we thank you so much for that. Um, and if you have not became a partner yet, go to our website, chrisbrooksministries.com forward slash partner. The link is provided, whether it's in the bio or in the comments here on um, Facebook. So do that with us. Again, share, tag this. Everybody has jumped on. Good morning, Brian right. Freebel. Share, Hello. tag, share, tag it, guys, and go to Proverbs chapter four, continuing in our Proverbs study we're doing right now. We'll be uh, in verses 14 through 19. <coughs> verses 14 through 19. Um, we're not outside this morning because it's hot and the, but everybody loved the sound. Well, for runs. whatever happened, all of them, the, we, we had a new, uh, pollen hit it also. And so it was like killing us. So here we go. We are going Proverbs 4, 14. Woo, Jesus. So 19. See, My that's God, why you need me. the coffee. No, I've had plenty. Are you sure? I'll go get you Maybe, a No, I've had <laughs> espresso kidding. coffee and pre-workout and all that. Okay. <laughs> So let's read this and then we'll pray. It says, do not act as the wicked do and do not follow the path of evildoers. Don't even think about it. Don't go that way. Turn away and keep moving. For evil people can't sleep until they have done their evil deed of the day. They can't rest until they have caused someone to stumble. They eat the food of the wickedness and drink the wine of violence. The way of the righteous is like the first glimpse 
of dawn, gleam of dawn, which shines ever bright until the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is total darkness, and they have no idea that they are stumbling over. All right, Father, we love you. We yes. thank you. And this morning, your word, we need it. And Father, so that we can recognize things and we know how to live according to the word of God, not walk in the darkness in Jesus' name. Amen. So, um, three points that I have this morning. I'm pointing it out here recently. Um, but when I read the scripture this morning, verse 14, where it says, do not do as the wicked do and do not follow the path of evil doers. Verse 15 really stuck out to me and I highlighted three things in verse 15 that he gives us on how not to do certain things. And the first thing he says is don't even think about it. So number one is our mind. The scripture tells us, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So it says, don't, don't do as the wicked do or follow the path of evil doers. He said, the first thing you have to do is you have to have a pure mind. Your mind has to be pure in the way of your thinking, the way of your thoughts. For wherever the mind goes, the body will yeah. follow. Um, whatever you think upon is what you will do. Whatever you think you are is who you are. Whatever you think that um, in anything like that, whatever your mind goes to, that is where everything else is going to transition and follow through. So he says, don't even think about it. So watch this. When it comes to the evil and evildoers, it says, don't even think about it. Yeah. So you, you, you. So don't even think about evil. Well, here's a crazy thing. He said, don't even think about it means that you've got to come to a place where you eliminate it and get it out of your mind. And the only way to do that is praying in the Holy Spirit. That when you pray in the Spirit and, and you declare in the Spirit, what it does is it's filling your mind with things that are pure, true, holy, noble, yeah. excellent, praiseworthy, of good report, and you're not thinking on the things that are evil. But as soon as you allow your mind to turn in that direction, you start to think about it. So the first thing that we have to do here in Proverbs chapter 4, uh, 14 through 19, is we have to work on our minds. Yeah. Once you've worked on your mind, your mind then gives you the ability to go into step two, which number two is don't go that way. I love it. So if you're thinking about it, you turn and go that way, okay? Mm -hmm. You think about it, you turn, you go that direction. But when you don't think about it and you think about the good things of God, here's, watch what happens. Don't go that way means that you have the power and authority in your life. You have this power in you to say, I'm not going that way. Mm-hmm. I am not going that way. I'm going this way. I'm going to go the right direction. I'm not going to go the wrong direction because I have prayed and I have commanded my mind to be submitted to my spirit, mm -hmm. which is why my mind is now no longer thinking on the things of evil, but thinking on the things of good. And now I can walk towards the things of good. So That's good. first thing is we have to think right. Mm -hmm. Second thing is we have to take the right path by going, don't go the wrong way. And the third thing here is turn away. And this is the key. Here's the key. Well, here's the third one. Uh -huh. Because I believe that you turn away and then don't go that way. The third one is this thing, keep moving. What do you mean by keep moving? There you go. <laughs> All right. Most people. Are you glad will, I asked? No, yeah, but most people say I've, I've done something wrong. I've messed up. I feel like I've taken two steps back. And the Lord said, keep moving. Mm -hmm. You have to keep going forward. You have to keep moving forward. Okay. Um, progress is going to be one of the great possessions of a believer. Not meaning that are we progressing or are we not progressing, meaning this way, keep moving, keep reading, keep yes. praying. Keep, watch what the Bible says. Seek and keep on seeking. Mm -hmm. Knock and keep on knocking. Ask and keep on asking. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it is a forward process, he says here. Turn away from this and keep moving. Keep moving forward. And then he talks about all the evil stuff in here. And then he says, the way of righteousness is like the first gleam of dawn. It's like when the sun is just rising up, which shines ever brighter until the full light of day. 
the more light you put in you, the brighter you become. Mm -hmm. The more word you put in you, the more brighter your spirit man is, the more brighter you are to others, the the more that you gleam, the more that you well, become that's the anointing. Yeah, more that you yeah. become full of light of day and you don't fall into the wickedness of darkness and you don't stumble over things. So this is what's crazy, but your spirit is the very thing that shifts your thinking. Not your thinking shifting your spirit. That's your good. thinking cannot shift your spirit. Only your spirit can shift your thinking. Once your spirit man shifts your thinking and you turn and go in the right direction, keep moving. Yeah. Keep moving forward. Keep going. Keep progressing. Keep reading. Keep praying. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Keep on. I love it. I love it. Because the scripture doesn't say knock and just the door. It says knock and keep on knocking and the door shall be open. Seek and keep on seeking and you will find. Mm -hmm. Ask and keep on asking and you shall receive. Yeah. Okay. The big thing out of this scripture, and, and because I can't, I don't want to move past it. I know it's not a lot of information here because it, it's telling us, all right, this is what happens with wicked. They sleep, they eat, they, they do evil things. They do this, they do that, they do this, they do that. But here's the deal, okay? Don't think about it. Get your mind on Christ. Yes. Once you think about these things, you start walking down this path. Don't go that way. Turn, stop now. Yes. And then keep moving in the right direction with the Lord. By doing so, seeking, knocking, asking. The more you put in, the more light that's going to come out. The more you put in, the more light that's going to come out. To where you look like the dawn and you don't look like death. Okay? I know this isn't a long PWOD this morning, but you need to hear this. Quit thinking about the evil. He says it right here. Solomon, the most wise man that ever lived, says don't think about it. Because the more you think about it, the more you turn to it. The more you think about it, the more um, doubt that comes into your mind. The more you think about it, the less faith you have. The more you think about it, the more, um, come on, help me with words here in the name of Jesus. The more confused that yes. you are. Um, the more you think about it, the more um, fear that comes upon you. The more you think about it, the more anxiety comes upon you. Don't think about it. Yes, it may be there, but I'm not going to think on this. I'm going to think on the good things of God. I'm going to think on the promise of God. I'm going to think on the word of God. Yes. I'm going to think on the things that God has for me instead of the things that I don't have or I don't see because that's what the enemy wants me to focus on. The enemy don't, doesn't want me to focus on the blessing and focus on the good things and the things that I have. The enemy wants me to focus on the bad stuff, but I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to turn and I'm going to keep on moving towards the glory and the kingdom of God yes. in Jesus' mighty name. I love that you touched on it. To think on the things that are pure, pure holy, yes. noble, lovely, excellent, praiseworthy, and of good report. I love that. Because whenever that's what your mind is fixed on, that's the direction that you're going to go. Mm -hmm. Whatever, wherever your focus is, that's the direction that's that you're going to go. That's where you're going. Bottom line. Mm -hmm. Your focus determines your destination. And so we've got to get our mind off of these evil things and the wickedness and Stop thinking about it. Stop thinking about the sin. Stop rehearsing the curse. Stop thinking about the, the person that did you wrong, the spouse situation. Well, it's just, it's just the, 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 the way that Solomon, the way that Solomon puts it, he said, don't, you just said it. Don't think about it doesn't mean that it's not there. That's right. That's right. But what he's saying is don't put all your focus in that. Yeah, stay focused. Don't put all your focus over here. Mm-hmm. Put your focus on me, and I'll deal with all this. I love it. Watch this. Put your focus on me, yeah. and I'll deal with all this. Ron just said this. It's like whenever you look at a car crash and you drift towards it. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, what was, whenever there's a... Well, um, people look at a car wreck, and then they see the wreck happening, and they end up wrecking themselves. Right. But whenever you hit like a water patch or an ice patch, everybody tells you to go the opposite of where Turn the Turn your car in the opposite direction yes. of the spin. 
Absolutely. So we've got to get our focus on the right thing, people yeah. of God. I love this. Praise the Lord. Simple teaching, but it's the word. I'm it's telling wisdom, you, though, and this is what we needed. Uh, I, I, I've, I've got probably ten people here that have messaged an in inbox God, that man. they needed that they needed this right now um, for for this current one. But I'm telling you right now, the replay of this is going to to go all over the place. Amen. You, there is someone that needs the practical tools to apply to their daily life to get themselves refocused. I don't know. I've got to rename this. I don't know what I'm going to rename it, but I'm going to figure out something because the body of Christ needs this practical assignment, this practical teaching. And you said, look, I mean, my gosh, look at this. This that people have said they've been off track. Today's message was perfect Praise timing. God. Praise God. Okay, well, now hold on. Let me say something then. If this message was perfect timing from you, for you, then what I want you to do right now, you need to do something. Go sow a seed into the word. Go oh, sow a seed good. and claim victory over the seed in this word and sow it into Chris Brooks Ministries today and watch what God does because you sow into the seed of the seed that went into your heart and the seed that goes into the ground, which will be a blessing to you. Yes. In the name of Jesus, do it now. All right. There's not a single time that we do not go into a service, hear the word of God. And not and, so. And not so. Every time. Every single time because I want that to be a harvest I'm going to sow every time, every service I go to, I never show up empty handed <laughs> because it's a word that I'm receiving. Yes. We had a word Sunday, <clears throat> Sunday, we sowed into the word every time. Yes. All right, here we go. I receive it. Say I it. receive it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. It's a part of my life. It's a part of my life. Now I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to do it. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am favored. I am favored. I'm the righteousness of Christ Jesus. I am the righteousness of Christ Jesus. I'm an heir to the throne. I am an heir to the throne. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I have what the word says. I have what the word says. Now. Now. Amen. All Amen. right, folks. Go do it. Go sow seed. Go be a blessing. Watch what God does. Take this word. Share it. Spread it. Send it around the nation. We shall see you tomorrow for another PYD. May the Lord richly bless you and keep you. May you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. And remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. And we'll see you tomorrow.